What is going on everybody? I hope everyone's having a great day. Thanks for clicking on the video as always. I'm gonna start today's video with a question. And the question is for anybody that owns a guitar, and that is, do you feel like when you're playing, it's actually your hands that's making you not play as good as you want to be playing? So in other words, if you're trying to play a certain guitar solo or a chord progression, do you feel like it's your hands that aren't able to move fast enough to the next notes or the next chords that's actually holding you back from being as good as a guitar player as you want to be? If you answered yes to that question, then you clicked on the right video, because in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about three exercises slash warmups that I do on a regular basis that helps my hands move as efficient as possible around the fretboard that makes me a better player from doing these exercises on a daily basis. And these exercises apply to anybody, whether you're a brand new guitar player or you're a seasoned professional guitar player, these exercises are gonna give you more functional hands making you a smoother, faster, and more efficient guitar player. And of course, guys, on this channel, I'm gonna be posting content on a weekly basis about everything I learn out here in Nashville, Tennessee. And I'm gonna be sharing it with you guys via YouTube. So if you're interested in learning what I learn, make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video. But anyways, these three exercises are my three favorite warm-ups that I do on a daily basis that enhance my hands, tactical ability around the fretboard and navigating through solos and chords and all that kind of stuff and I think it's gonna help you guys too. So let me grab my guitar and I'm gonna show you guys these three warm-ups. Let's go. So the exercise looks like this. As you can see, I'm using a metronome too. This is just a, a free app on my phone. I think it's called, it's called Pro Metronome. It's free, it's awesome. I do recommend practicing with a metronome because being in time is everything. But looking at that, that warm up, slow down. So with your pointer finger, it's gonna start fifth fret on the A. And then ring finger does the octave. Uh, seventh fret on the D. And then ring finger, seventh fret on the A then middle on 6th fret of the G, and then ring finger back on the octave A there, and then pointer finger 5th fret of the B, then middle back on the major 3rd, which is 6th fret of the G, and then the octave A on 5th fret of the high E, then you're going to go up with your pinky. If you can't do the stretch, you could I guess you could do that, but make sure you're doing it with your pinky. So that is, what is that, the ninth fret of the high E string. Looks like this so far. And then going back down, so it's gonna go from there to middle finger on the G, sixth fret. Then ring finger on the seventh fret of the D. Back there. So, going real slow. So as you can see, it outlines the notes in a bar chord and it has that added third, that added major third on top of it, which really gets the stretch going on in your hands, which again, makes your hands more capable playing certain chords. You know, if, you're, if you have to play a chord like this, you know, it helps with that kind of stuff. And with the metronome, I'm in 4-4. I'm starting at about 125. Let's crank it up. So you could start as slow as you want. Make sure, this is all about muscle memory, guys. Like, so I'm gonna crank it up to 150, but if you're brand new at it, I would recommend starting at about 100. <laughs> Let's do 175. Go to 200. And you could also do it in a minor. So instead of doing it like, you could do it. You know? 
So that is the first exercise. Make sure to start slow, start at about 100 beats per minute, and then you could crank it up to 200, 300. 500, whatever you want to do. Now the second warm-up is a pretty unique exercise that I've been doing for the past few months and I think it's really helped me because, like I said, it's really unique and it really stretches out the fingers. It looks like this. I'm gonna use the, I'm gonna use the metronome again, starting at about 120. kind of like doing this but you're gonna keep your fingers on the string above so it's gonna look like this and then it's the same exact idea going back up so this really practices having independent finger control as you can see this is this was really hard for me to do at first you know like You'll probably see when you're trying to learn it, it's really hard to get down muscle memory. You know, like you're going to want to move all your fingers at the same time doing that. But once you get it down, it's actually pretty satisfying to do. And then once you get the basic shift down, going down to the string below or above, then you could start skipping strings. So I'm going to skip a string here. If you really want to challenge yourself, you could go even more, skip a couple. skip the whole fretboard. I just jammed my finger recently, so that one's hard to do with my ring finger. I just jammed it. Ah, shoot. And the third and final exercise I have for you guys is actually the most simple, and I learned it back in high school when I took this class called guitar class, and this was one of the warm-ups that we did, and I still do it to this day because it's simple, it's easy to do, and it's efficient. So. It's just a chromatic walk up starting from the low E, open E, all the way up to the 12th fret of the high E string. So it looks like this. I'm going to use the metronome again. As you can see, that was the metronome on 110. So what you just saw, open E, all the way up to the fourth fret, and make sure you're using each finger, you know, so pointer finger, middle finger, ring finger, pinky, for every string, because if you're doing it like this. But that's not the same, because you wanna make sure you're using every finger to have independence with each of your fingers, which is gonna make you a better guitar player. So, doing it really slowly, open E, open A, open D, and then on the G string you're only going to go up to the 3rd fret, because the G and B are a major 3rd part instead of the other strings being a perfect 4th for all the other strings, and then open B, open E, then once you're at the pinky of the 4th fret, you're going to shift your first finger on the fifth fret and then do another shift what is that like the ninth fret and then you made it all the way up to the high e on the 12th fret of the e string and then once you got that you could go back down shift shift to the pinky on the fourth fret have it those are three exercises that I do that I've been doing for a long time some newer than others but these exercises will help you become a better guitar player I promise you if you do it on a regular basis you will see a difference in your playing ability if this video has helped any of you guys out make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content also if you guys have any questions leave a comment right down below I'll make sure to reply to it I'm also interested if you guys have any suggestions for videos that you would want me to make 
leave a comment right down below for what that is and I'll definitely consider making it. You know, I just want to know what you guys are into hearing about and learning about. So leave a comment right down below and thanks for watching this video. Have a great rest of your day.